As I undertake my inaugural visit to Brunei, I am pleased to extend to you my warmest greetings on the 125th anniversary of Philippine independence and nationhood. Brunei Darussalam is a country, is the first country I am visiting as president of the Southeast Asian Ministers of Education Organization Council and Secretary of Education of the Republic of the Philippines. Today, I undertook a successful visit to the Simeo Voktek. It is my advocacy to align with like-minded people so we can address and solve common problems in education, including technical vocational education. Kanina po, nagpirma ang ating Philippine, Philippine Normal University with the University of Brunei Darussalam and Simeo Tech Book para po sa exchange and capacity building both sides and sa mga trainings ng ating teachers. I also had the opportunity to visit public and private schools in Brunei Darussalam. This will allow me to get a bird's eye view of the many best practices in education I can carry with me back to the Philippines. Earlier today, I called on His Royal Highness Crown Prince Al Mutadi Bila. We spoke of matters of mutual concern between the Philippines and Brunei Darussalam, as well as the enhancement of our warm and friendly relations. On behalf of the Filipino people, I extend the warm greeting, warmest greetings of our countrymen and acknowledged His Majesty the Sultan's enduring work for peace in Mindanao. I also conveyed my abiding concern for your welfare and my sincere appreciation to His Royal Highness for providing you all a second home here in the Sultanate. I join you tonight to celebrate the dearest anniversary of our people. I remember the sacrifice of our forebears to achieve a better life a life of freedom, equality, and prosperity for themselves and for our families. It is a sacrifice reflected in your own individual endeavors here in Brunei Darussalam. I have come here to express in my personal I have come here to express my personal appreciation to you for what you have offered to support for the resilience of our economy as well as your families back home in the Philippines. Kanina naisip ko na marami sa inyo ang breadwinners, marami sa inyo ang nagsusuporta ng mga pamilya na nandoon sa Pilipinas. At unang-unang naisip ko ay kailangan ninyo pangalagaan ang inyong uh, kalusugan because I know many of your family members depend upon you for help and uh, assistance. At alam ko marami sa inyo ang nagpapaaral ng mga kapatid, uh, mga apo, mga anak, mga pamangkin. And uh, this is one thing na gusto ko rin sana hingiin sa inyo na paniguraduhin natin na ang, mga sus na ang susunod na henerasyon, mga anak natin, ay pumapasok sa paaralan at sila ay nag-aaral at naiintindihan nila kung ano ang kahalagahan ng pagtatapos ng kanilang pag-aaral para sa kanilang personal na buhay at para sa kanilang mga pamilya. Dahil kapag hindi din po sila nakapagtapos, sa inyo din po babalik sila, sa inyo din po sila pupunta para humingi ng tulong. Kaya let us be rigid with them with regard to their education. Your labor is deeply remembered, laying the foundation for our national stability and economic prosperity so that we may all have a better future. In Brunei, where Filipinos make up the third largest foreign population, third lang ba dahil kanina wala na akong ibang nakita kundi mga Pilipino lang. Siguro naman, wa well, first na tayo sa next uh, census. Kanina po, nandun kami sa uh, isang tindahan. 
dahil uh, nagbigay ng uh, maliit na gift yung uh, Filipino. Pinadala niya sa akin sa lamesa ko. Pumunta kami doon sa tindahan and then sabi ko, uh, matagal na kayo dito. Sabi niya, 13 years. I think yung isa was uh, 12 years and 14 years. Sabi ko, ah, oh, okay. Sabi ko, um, Pilipino kayo lahat. Sabi niya, ah, madami kami Pilipino sa kumpanya na ito. And then so when um, merong mga dumaan, uh, nakikita nila na nagkukwentuhan kami, nakikilala nila ako, pumapasok sila, lumalapit sila, nagsasabi Pilipino din kami. So we had, uh, we had uh, picture taking, chat, gano'n. Tapos, wala naman ako ibang tao na nakita na dumaan. Lagi Pilipino, lagi Pilipino. Yung mga namimili at yung mga salesperson, mga Pilipino din. So, tinanong ko doon sa kanila, sabi ko, uh, sabi ko, Pilipino ba ito dito lahat? Sabi niya, oo, from first to third floor, Pilipino kami dito lahat. So, I think, we're not the third. I think we're the first na dito sa Brunei. I am deeply honored to be your vice president. Maraming salamat sa pagkakataon na ibinibigay, ibinigay ninyo sa akin. It is a country where you are recognized for your incalculable contributions to our society. In this spirit, I offer my congratulations on your being an important part of the development of the Philippines and Brunei. Marami sa inyo, kapag tinatanong ko sila, matagal na sila dito, They're, hindi sila yung mga three months, six months, eight months, hindi, years. Merong 26 years, 14 years, 12 years, marami sa inyo. Ang um, na Minahal na ang uh, Brunei pero hindi pa rin nakakalimutan ang Pilipinas. Dahil kanina, nung tinanong ko yung isa, I think ang sagot niya sa akin was 8 years. If I remember correctly, sabi ko, matagal ka na dito ma'am. Sabi niya, 8 years na ako dito. Sabi ko, oh, that long. Sabi ko, hindi ka na Pilipino, Brunei ka na. Sabi niya, hindi, Pilipino pa rin ako. And uh, thank you for... Uh, Sinasabi ko sa kanila lahat kanina kapag uh, namimit ko sila and um, nagtatrabaho sila. And pag sinasabi nila matagal na ako dito, sabi ko, naisip ko, you are trusted by your employers. Kasi tumatagal kayo sa trabaho ninyo. Ibig sabihin, tinataas ninyo ang bandera ng pagiging Pilipino. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Be proud of your achievements as you help move this country's progress forward. You are strong pillars of this country's economic and social structure, and it is an honor of your great contributions that I extend my sincere gratitude sa inyong lahat. Today, on June 12, let us remind ourselves of the price of freedom, our forebears contribute consecrated themselves in blood and tears and bequeathed upon us this treasure that we now hold dear. Na kung gusto natin magtrabaho at manirahan sa Brunei ay pwede dahil sa kanilang pakikipaglaban para sa ating kapayapaan. I exhort you all to live your lives to the ideals of patriotism, integrity, professionalism, excellence, and service. These were the qualities that guided our forefathers, and these are the same values that we live by. For it is in our good example that we inspire dignity in ourselves and become beacons of light as we shape our destinies as Filipinos, as a nation, even in this foreign land. I wish everyone a happy Independence Day May we all uphold the true spirit of the occasion and practice kindness, loyalty, camaraderie, and serve our nation to the fullest. Kanina, sabi ng isang kasama ko doon sa uh, tindahan, 
kasama ko galing sa Pilipinas. Sabi niya, ah, hindi naman nakakalungkot na dito ka tumirad dahil Pilipino naman lahat. Pilipino yung kausap mo, Tagalog yung naririnig mo, yung mga nakakasalubong mo, Pilipino. And then, uh, I said to her, alam mo, hindi madali yung ginagawa nila. Dahil kung pipiliin lang nila, hindi yan pupunta sa ibang bansa para magtrabaho. Gusto, gusto nila na nandun lang sa Pilipinas kasama yung mga pamilya nila. Pero kailangan nilang gawin dahil hindi pa. Papunta pa lang tayo as a country where our citizens can decide if I want to live and work abroad or I, I can stay in my own country and have the same opportunities that I have uh, in uh, overseas. So, ulitin ko po, nire-recognize po namin ang sakripisyo ninyo at maraming salamat po sa pagtulong sa Pilipinas. Ang lahat po, <laughs> ang lahat po ng ginagawa natin ay para sa Diyos, sa bayan, at sa pamilyang Pilipino.